Hey guys, what is up? Tim here, and today I'm going to show you how to use an application called Twixter. Now this application is basically frame blending in Adobe After Effects CS5 on steroids. Now what this is going to do is allow you to frame blend without any distortion at all. Now it'll have a little bit a little bit of distortion if you really slow it down, but for the most part it is a lot better than frame blending. Now exactly what we're going to do is we're going to click Control and we're going to open our clip with Adobe After Effects CS5. Now what this uh, program Twixter is going to allow you to do really is slow down your clips like I said without any distortion. Now this is a paid product unfortunately and you're gonna have to buy it. Um, I think you can get it from some torrent sites but I really don't suggest that um, as this company is kinda small and you really do want to support the developer with such a great product. Alright so now that After Effects is open we can just click OK and we can take our clip and drag it into our new composition. And the first thing we're going to do is enable frame blending uh, which is a very basic step and we're going to go to uh, uh, actually layer and we're gonna go to time and enable timer mapping and so now once we've done that we can go into effect and go to region revision plugins go to Twixter anything else let's just go to input frame rate and just go to 59.94 once we have that set we can go down to effects and go to Twixter Pro go to output control and we can scrub through and find the part where we want to slow down Alright, so once you find the spot where you want to um, uh, you start the slow motion effect, you can just pause it right there and you can go over here and start your first keyframe. Now to start your first keyframe, all you need to do is click on the little stopwatch thing right there. And you're going to go next frame. And you're going to go and change it to whatever percent of slow motion you want to do. It. <clears throat> now I'm going to change mine to, let's say, probably 10%. And... I'm going to scrub through and see exactly what it'll look like. It looks pretty good if you ask me. Um, and we'll do a little pausing effect kind of thing, a speed transition. And by adding another keyframe and going to next frame. And then changing it down to, we'll say 3%. And that'll almost basically pause the water and it looks really, really cool. Now we can do another speed transition by adding another keyframe going to next frame and then we're going to change it to let's say we'll get it back to 100% speed and that'll look a, look like a really nice speed transition and it'll like fall down kind of now but <clears throat> once we've enabled that uh, we can go over to composition settings and make the composition a little bit longer we'll give it 26 seconds just to give ourselves a little breathing room and since we have enabled time remapping time remapping we can make it a little longer because we have length in the clip with the slow motion so now it is at 100% back again. Your spot for the next slow motion effect. Uh, you can basically do the exact same process. Now here's our frame, and we're just going to go to, we're just going to keyframe it again. Go to the next frame, and we can change it down to, we'll say, we'll give it a good 10%, uh, which is a pretty nice speed when it's starting off. And now once we get it at its peak, we can again uh, give it another keyframe. Go to next frame, and we can change it down to, we'll give it 1%. Um, that'll look really, really slow, and it'll look really, really cool. Oh, whoops, and there we go. It is almost still, and that looks really, really cool. And we can add another keyframe to speed it up a little bit. We'll give it at, we'll give it 7%, and that looks pretty cool. And we'll do another speed transition by adding another keyframe, going to next frame, and going back to, we'll give it 100%. And it'll fall down, and that's where we want to end our composition. Now by doing that, uh, we're going to drag the blue over to where we want to end it. And we're going to end our workspace uh, by dragging this little thing over to the, whoops, <laughs> over to the, oh my god over to the red uh, arrowhead and we're just going to align it and we're going to go to composition <clears throat> add to render queue and we're just going to render this thing out and we are done now uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to call it, we'll call it water throw 2 and we're going to save it to desktop and we're going to click render alright so now you're basically all done I'll show you what it looks like afterwards once I compress it and show you it in quick time but it looks pretty darn cool if you ask me and uh, that's pretty much it for today guys I really did hope you enjoyed and I really hope this helped so uh, thanks a lot for watching this has been Tim and I'm out